Hello everybody, it's Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today to play Stranded Deep. Yes, let's get started, shall we? So, after Ash and I played The Forest, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to play Stranded, because The Forest, it had some problems, uh, which you guys saw. Hopefully you guys saw. If you hadn't, then uh, go back and watch our Forest series, I'd say it's worth a watch. But this game uses the same engine, and it's kind of got the same premise, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right now, we're uh, on a plane. Looks like we're flying above the Pacific Ocean, heading somewhere. Probably somewhere super important, because look at this. I've got my own private jet. Pretty sweet. Drinking expensive wine, smoking gross cigarettes, living the lap of luxury. What's the headline say here? Shark claims another. Ooh, ooh, I'd hate to be that guy. All right, got to make a cocktail. Here we go. We've got all our cocktail ingredients here. Let's see what we can't make. Craft a cocktail. Look at that. Ooh, there it is. But we're not done yet. We need to set this thing on fire, apparently. Yeah! Look at it go. That's a flaming mo for you guys. And let's drink it down the hatch. All right. I'm not a very good flyer, so that'll help calm the nerves. And this turbulence is kind of freaking me out. But I got two pilots in here. I'm sure they know what they're doing. They look identical. These guys got the couple twins flying me to God knows where. All right, let's go take our seat. Complete this high-class journey. Yeah, nothing to worry about here. Yep. Just a little mild turbulence, that's all. Yep. Alright. Things have taken a turn for the worst. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it through this one. We're going down. This is very similar to the forest. Starts with a plane crash. Alright, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, ooh. All right, we're underwater. Get to the life raft on the surface. Okay, good advice. Let's do that. Get to that life raft. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Yep, there it is. I see it. Come on, man. Swim. Swim for your life. All right, climb in. We're in. All right. Flaming wreckage of my private jet there. And everything is on fire. It appears I am the only survivor. And let's see. Oh, it's a pretty night. Except for the fiery wreckage. Okay, now here we are. In the middle of nowhere. It's, it's pretty though, you know? It's uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five islands. All right. Got one right in front of us. Looks like pretty small islands here. Let's get out of this water. After reading that headline about a shark. Ooh. Don't want to risk my life out here. All right, I've got a it looks to be a shipwreck down there. Another shipwreck over here. Shipwrecks all over the place. Okay, let's get on dry land. See if we can't make this thing work. You know, some people might be a little upset. You know, plane crash, being stranded on a island in the middle of nowhere. But, you know, I'm going to take this opportunity to say... This is the start of my new vacation. Let's take a look at our survival watch here. See, it's 83 degrees. It's like the perfect temperature. Are you kidding me? Looks like there's a contrail up there, like a plane's flown over. Maybe that was my plane. All right, first things first. I say we need to find food and we need to build shelter. But I've only got a lighter, a knife, in a bottle of water. Now let's pull out the old knife here. Ooh, hua. Yeah, yeah. All right, and 
Can't really cut down a tree with a knife, can I? Oh, I can. Look at that. Cutting down palm trees with my knife. But here's the thing, though, okay? Okay, that tree's down. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That tree was coming right for me. So my knife does have, uh... It's at 88% durability right now. I chopped down a tree. Let's see how much durability I lose when I chop down another tree. Because though this works, I would imagine we don't want to use our knife to cut down trees for too long because it's probably gonna really wear on our knife. All right. Oh, look at coconuts fall out of the tree too. Yeah, look at that. We've got a, that knife is at 76. So we just lost 12% durability on that knife cutting down that tree. So we are not gonna do that anymore, all right? Look at that, there's a yucca plant. What's that give us? Oh, look at that. It gives us lashings. That's cool. Let's pick up those lashings. There we go. Let's pick up those coconuts, too. Those will come in handy to eat later. Yeah. Gonna be sipping coconut drinks on the beach. Gonna build myself a hut. Gonna cook up some crabs. We're gonna have a good time. We are going to have a good time. And I'm sure eventually somebody will come and rescue us. This is a pretty small island. Alright. Got rocks. We got sticks. Okay. Let's pick up some sticks. Why not? Uh, there we go. A couple sticks there. We can pick up rocks. We're gonna pick that guy up. Anything over here? We'll do a... Oh, look at that. Little crabbies. Oh! Yeah, gotcha. These guys do not put up much of a fight. Is that a... What is that? Is that a crab hole? Yeah, no crabs lived in holes. Okay, so not let me pick it up. Because my inventory is full. I only got eight slots there. That's not a lot, so... I'm gonna pick a place here on the beach that looks like it would be good to call home. It's a tiny island, so I guess this place is as good as any. And I'm gonna drop some of this stuff, because... I can come back for it. No need to lug everything around. Let's drop all of my coconuts. There we go. That'll be my coconut cove. How about that? Coconut cove, right here. And let's drop the sticks as well. There we go. You know what? Let's just drop everything. Until I find like a chest or something to put all this stuff in. We'll just call this our store. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at, look at. Okay. You guys see how I highlight the stick there, and you see that icon changes? It changes from the dot to that little, like, list. That means I could craft something. So let's see. I can craft a crude axe. Whoa! Physics engine freaking out there. All right, let's pick up that axe. There we go. I was talking about how we didn't want to use that knife to cut down trees for much longer. Well, there's our solution. We've got an axe. All right, let's just start clear-cutting this place a little bit. All right. Here we go. Cutting down this tree. There it goes. We've got another coconut. Just collect coconuts. I wonder if I could drink the water for that too. So maybe it'll work for food and water, or maybe it'll just be one or the other. We'll find out soon enough. Let's keep chopping at this trunk and see what happens. All right. If you chop a trunk long enough, it turns into a log. Look at this. Okay. Bet you we can take these palm fronds. These would probably make a good roof or something for our tropical hut. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, palm fronds. I can pick those up. I can't pick up a log, though, which kind of makes sense. It's a bit too heavy, but it is glowing orange, so it means I could still chop it up a bit. Let's... Oh, I hear that music. What's that mean? Whoa! Whoa, two sharks out there. Ooh, they're hunting in packs. Get back, you. All right, I don't want to press my luck. Okay, looks like he means business. Okay, so that's going to be our main enemy, I would imagine, in this game. Sharks. But luckily, it gives us that little clue that sharks are around. That kind of Jaws-esque music, that duh sound. So, they won't completely blindside us. Right, let's drop off our newfound booty. There we go. 
And out of curiosity, how's that axe holding up? It's at 87% from chopping down that tree and creating the sticks and everything. Okay, so we're probably going to fire through axes fairly quick, I would imagine. And I can craft something again. I can cra craft a campfire. All right. I'm not going to do it just yet because I don't need a campfire at the moment, but that's good to know. All right. Let's see. How is everything doing? It's 87 degrees, so it's gotten a bit warmer. I'm a little scratched up, you can see. All right, and I'm at full health. Uh, hydration's good. I've lost one bar in my food, so... Imagine that I won't be able to get through this day without being a bit hungry. So we'll start thinking about food here soon. But in the meantime, let's keep collecting. We're gonna get that shelter built. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right, what else we got? We're doing our little patrol. Ooh, a little starfish there. Cute little starfish. Oh, yeah, that's right. I chopped down this tree, so let's go ahead and make some more sticks and palm fronds. Oh, speaking of palm fronds, let's drop those things over here, too, and see if maybe we can't craft something with those. There we go, palm fronds. Yep, just still a campfire. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, I did poke around a little bit on the Stranded Deep Wiki before I started playing. Just to see uh, what kind of things can be crafted. I don't remember what the uh, crafting materials required to build the huts and the lean-tos and everything were. But you can't build a whole lot in this game just yet. You can build, like, a lean-to. You can build, uh, like, a platform for a hut. And then you can build walls, you know. So I imagine that I could probably build a sort of elaborate... Uh, hut if I wanted to, you know. So, we'll start with something pretty simple, just to get us through the night, and then we'll see if we can't build a tropical resort. If I'm going to be survived, maybe, or rescued, survived, if I'm going to survive, and if I'm going to be rescued, maybe I need to give people a reason to come find me, you know. If I build a resort, then they will come. Just like that movie, Field of Dreams where Kevin Costner was stuck on an island in the middle of the United States. All right, we got logs. Chop them up. Yeah, I might fast forward this bit a little bit because uh, chopping up logs, this is boring watching. Boring playing, to be honest with you. But it'll all be worth it once we've got our hut. Okay. Oh, I'm all full up on sticks. What do we got here? Oh, look at that! A potato plant! Yeah! Man can't survive on coconuts alone. I'm gonna need those potatoes. Alright, let's go back to our our pile here. It's beginning to get pretty big. More palm fronds. And all right. Our axe is getting a little bit worn down. Okay. So, these crabs, they're, you know, easy killing. Yeah, got it. Crab there. But what I do know is that they're also poisonous if uncooked. Whoop, I just dropped my knife. Don't want to do that. So, uh, I will need to cook them before I eat them. I'm telling you guys that right now. Full disclosure, because uh just want to avoid comments that say, like, why aren't you eating those crabs? Because I don't want to poison myself, that's why. Don't want to eat raw crab, people. Oh, look at that, though. I just ate potatoes. Ate raw potatoes. And what did that do for my hunger? Um, oh, yeah, I'm full. Getting a little bit parched, though. Luckily, I have bottled water. Now, that's a good question. Okay, so eventually, I will run out of my bottled water. Let's see. I've got three servings of bottled water. But uh, where do I get more water? That's the question. I'm surrounded by salt water. Possibly coconuts, huh? Possibly coconuts will... Oh, nope. I don't want to craft. Yeah, I can't eat a coconut. I wonder if I can crack it open. Let's try pulling out the old axe. 
and I crack open a coconut. Up oh, there we go. That green coconut just turned into a regular coconut. That's cool. Now let's whoa, stop dropping stuff, man. Got butter fingers over here. Okay, I can't eat a regular coconut. That kind of makes sense. It's very hard. I wanted to trust my teeth to. Uh... Okay, there we go. Drinkable coconut. Hey, look at that. There we go. We are making progress all over the place. Okay. Yeah. Totally drank it. And there's totally a shark back there again. Now let's see what our hydration's at. Yeah, we're hydrated. Okay. And the sun's starting to go down. It's getting a little dark here. I'm gonna need to build a shelter. Now, I would imagine what I need to do that is more lashings. Probably need a Quite a bit of lashings to get that done. Which I got from the yucca plants before, but I don't see too many yucca plants around here. Do you guys? Up oh, there's a yucca plant. Speaking of, there we go. Let's drop these sticks here for a moment and pull out my knife. Alright, five good swings. And the yucca plant is down. Gotcha, yucca plant. You didn't stand a chance against my knife. Okay, pick up those sticks now. Let's go see if the addition of a couple... Oh, another yucca plant. They seem to be everywhere now. There we go. More lashings. Good, good, good. Now let's go drop these on the pile and see if maybe I can't craft a little something, something. Uh, nope, I just picked up, and I want to drop. There we go. Dropping those lashes. Dropping the palm fronds. I could do a bed. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. Now, it's not raining, and it is 82 degrees out, so it's pretty nice. Maybe I won't need a shelter. Maybe a bed will be enough. But, you know, before the sun goes down, we'll keep seeing if we can't forage a little bit more. Let's see if we've got any more yucca on this tiny island. I don't think so. I think we found all of the yucca. So a bed might be it. Might just need to craft a bed. Maybe set sail for one of these other islands. See if we can't find some more ingredients. We'll do that come morning. In the meantime, let's build that bed. There we go. Whoa! And a bed springs out of nowhere. Um, okay. It's a sideways bed. You can only sleep at night. Okay. Can I chop up the bed in order to create... No, I can't. I cannot chop up the bed. Well, that kind of stinks because I didn't want the bed really to be on its side the way that it is. It's just not very aesthetically pleasing. Well, that's good to know. I will need just to get uh, the ingredients that I need for a bed before and then I'll place it. To avoid something like this in the future. Could you imagine if I was like building a lean-to and it fell over on its side? Oh god. Okay. Sun's going down. It's pretty. I want to sleep, but it ain't nighttime yet. I, okay, I get it, man. I can only sleep at night. Yep. I know all about it. You keep telling me the same thing over and over again. It will be curious to see if uh, there's much of a uh, temperature change at night. Maybe it gets very cold, or maybe it starts raining or something. I will need to build a shelter here soon. I know that. Can't survive long without that. And it just won't be very comfortable, to be honest. I gotta... I'm a man who's used to fine things. I was flying on a private jet, drinking the finest of wines, smoking... The grossest of cigarettes. I need a fancy place to live. All right, it is nighttime now. Let's finish chopping up these trunks. We'll get those sticks and we'll go to bed. Come on. Oh my God, this is taking forever. Okay, so back at my, uh, my designated camp spot here. Let's drop off my sticks that I just gathered. Yep, there we go. And a few more. And a few palm fronds. And 
How are we doing on temperature? 78 degrees. All right, that's downright pleasant. And a little hungry, but not too bad. I say we sleep now. Oh God, he is really messing with me. He is not afraid of me. All right. He's following me to the island. Whoa, 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 whoa. 